parents. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that, that is what. Yeah, yeah. We do practicing. So you believe in a female god? Yeah. Q. There is no Q. Yeah, it's a letter. It comes after. As you said, it's everybody's choice, right? So I made choice to believe in. No, no, but God. why do you believe in a female god, goddess? It's, it's not about female, male, anything like that. It is, it is, because you made a conscious decision where you've taken your full process and you thought, I believe, because they are atheists. So you're not atheist. You're, I believe in God. Then you've gone into, the God I believe in is female. Yeah. You know in the Quran, there's a four line definition given of what we believe in Allah. Yeah, and the reason I don't use the word God is because you know God. Some people believe Christians believe God died on the cross. Yeah, um, there are some Hindus that believe the statue is God. Yeah, um, some Buddhists believe Buddha is God. Yeah, um, Christians who read the Bible and it says God created the world in six days, rested on the seventh. We in Islam we don't believe Allah uh, needs to rest. We don't believe Allah will die. Yeah? And there's a four line definition of Allah given. Yeah? And it says that, say Allah is uniquely one. Yeah? Do you believe in one God or multiple gods? One. one God. Say Allah is uniquely one. He is self sustaining eternal. Agree or disagree? Yeah, okay. Agree. Yeah? He does not beget nor was he begotten. Yeah? Agree? Too much, you're agreeing too much now. No, 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 no. You remember, you're Hindu, okay? Remember, yeah, you're agreeing too much. See, everything, you say it's Allah. For us, every God is same, you know? Uh, mm. Most of the things matches. As you said, yeah, I agree that Hinduism having more gods, it's just... But when you read the Bhagavad Gita, they believe in ult one ultimate God. Yes. Yeah. So, it's... If you'll say only one, there's only verse of source you can say. It's Mahadev, called Mahadev. Okay. And which in I believe, I said I specifically believe in Goddess just because she is the wife of that Mahadev. So I don't know, you'll understand it or not, yeah. but it's just I'm saying. So, it's so you believe gods get married? You know Mahadev, how do you say it? Mahadev. 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 That means. Um, Mahadev means is ultimate. On him there is no no one. Like you chief, said, chief. only Allah. Hmm. Chief, like chief. Not chief. Okay. Chief is very small word to use for God. Cameraman, please <laughs> stay behind the camera. <laughs> I apologize. My cameraman is getting no, no, excited. No, no, it's not. That. It's just you said <laughs> only one God, right? Allah. <laughs> so, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's just uh, you have different messengers, right? At yeah. different different times. Yeah. We do have, um, we don't call them messenger. Whatever time they came, we gave them different names. Yeah. No, no, before we go there, because before we talk about who sent, I mean, before we talk about what was sent to messengers, we need to look at who sent them. So you said Magad, uh, Mahadev. 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 My apologies, I don't mean no disrespect. Mahadev. Mahadev has a wife. Why you believe in Mahadev's wife and you don't believe in Mahadev? See, it, again it comes to choice only. I have seen so many things around, surrounding me while I grown up. So... Um, so you think wife is better than husband always? No, 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 it, it's not like <laughs> But uh, it's still in, I have small temple as we, we you pray, right? We do pray as yeah, well. Yeah. At home but you have your place, place yeah. you have a yes. shrine so with like statues and gods. Yes, we call murti. Murti, yeah, yeah. Yes. So we, and and you have, have candles, yeah, yeah. Yes, so we, we do that pray every day. It's not like uh, we don't do. But yes, I agree that you Muslims uh, every day practicing, every day. Five times a five day. Five times in a day, yeah. Minimum. Yes, very yeah. yeah. I think that's that's for all of them, and you do keep practicing those things. Yeah. But I believe uh, some of the people, 20, 30, whatever percentage, 
when they come out of home they stop doing it so we are not keep you know yeah. keep continuing you know what you said is a very beautiful point yeah. you know in islam the reason we pray five times a day is when we leave the home we have that connection as well because now i prayed in the morning yeah then i left my home in the afternoon i pray today in my workplace i've prayed three times i have seen because i used to work with uh, muslim my most of the colleagues were before it was yeah. like they used to do pray when when i do only morning time evening time jee, jee, that jee, is jee. also not compulsory you have sometimes you do sometimes you don't yes. yeah so that depends but i have seen most of the people don't they don't do not even two times also because i had like now when i get home um, i'm going to have to pray at least one more time does that make sense and it's so funny there was this one christian guy i met he had an alarm on his phone yeah muslim app where it reminds you to pray five times a day and i'm talking to him like this and the, it goes off yeah and i'm like why do you have this app he goes you're a muslim he goes no i'm a christian but i like it because it reminds me to pray So he's not even a Muslim and he uses a Muslim app to remind him to pray five times a day. But don't worry, I know you're worried. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> After I'm, I spoke to him he became Muslim. <laughs> no, it's not God. After I huh? thought I'm against Muslim no, but everybody has their own things to believe in, right? Why you believe in Allah because you have teach first thing you believe when you grown up, you know uh, what you are believing in. Do you know who Allah is? Actually you have not seen him but still you are believing in him right? So I have not seen my goddess but I have few things happened with me so that's why I keep believing in it. So So how do you know it was your goddess that made those things happen? Did your goddess say don't believe in Allah believe in me? No. No god says that. Huh? Allah says that. The, the Christian god says that. Moses too that you know the 10 commandments yes. the first commandment is um your god is one and don't make any don't worship none but him this is the guy guy he's the only one yes there is no other god than allah right if i'm not wrong yes 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 yeah you're right me if i'm wrong yeah? 100% right he says that he's the only god none of us there like there's no deity there's no, no god exactly. worthy of worship except allah yes. yes for us it's not we have 33 koti crores of gods different gods many of them i also don't know the names even i have not seen them but we have but you're choosing to only worship one yes i'm saying we as a muslim i only have one god and i can only worship one god and the biggest sin yeah you know we're talking about praying five times a day yeah. is to make partners of god to make partners of Allah. Does it make sense? Because the fact of the matter is, right? Do you have a good relationship with your mom and dad? Yeah. Your parents they raised you? Yeah. Um they gave you food when you was ill, yeah. Now look at how would you would still you wouldn't thank other people you thank your parents for what they've done for you yeah now above and beyond what your parents have done what has the creator done for you giving you your eyes giving you your lungs to eat with does it make sense to speak to see to breathe um so i'm saying that look at the moment you work right okay for money pesa yeah if i was to give you 2 million pounds would you be very happy of course yeah. you're waiting now in it you're like no, 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 no. one of these programs and they <laughs> on front of the camera I believe in hard work you won't yeah. believe my parents i'm married yeah. my in-laws they were having they are still having by god grace everything but why we came here just me and my husband just to you know be independent sometimes this to like, get away from the in-laws be careful they might be watching <laughs> this they won't be no 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 but by listening this sometimes it feel like it's nonsense everybody wants to be independent everybody loves their like it's not like that but sometimes you need to prove yourself in for for your sake of things so that's why we are here it's not like 
I love. No, no, by the way, by the way, I'm not mocking you. I'm just, the point I was going to make is you're working. I work for money as well. Does it make sense? Um, so we have like value. But we have value for money. Exactly. Yeah. Now, if I was to say to you, I'm going to give you money, you'd be very happy. Two million pounds. If I was to say to you, I'm going to give you two million pounds, but I need both your eyes. What would you say? So now, the creator has given you your eyes, which is more valuable than two million. What if I said 10 million? No? So these are things the creator has given you free of charge. Imagine I gave you two million pounds, how often you'd be thanking me? Does it make sense? But Allah, the creator of the heavens and earth, has given you more things which are more valuable. Yeah. And maybe you might thank once or twice. Yeah. Now, ultimately, as we are praying, we are thanking them every day, right? I'll, I'll, take, it, I'll take it from him. Jazakallah khair. No, 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 Habibi, Habibi, you guys. No, I eat too much. It's okay, bro. May Allah bless you, Akhi. In fact, if you give it here, I'll give it to the sister. I'll offer it to the sister. Thank you so much. Is it yours? There you go. By the way, it's my favorite, so thank you. One pound. One pound. Thank you. You're, you're sellers, yeah? Businessman, businessman. Yeah? We need to try it and then decide if it's worth one pound, yeah? Taste it, yeah. Um, so, I'm saying more. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. You want my chocolate? No! no I I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. You can take more, you can no, take more. Okay. Um, you, get, you want to get in? Yeah, in we'll, we'll talk, my friend. Let me finish oh, this convo and we'll talk, me and you. Come back, come back, yeah? Um, what was I going to say? So, worshipping God is one thing. Thanking God is one thing, yeah? Knowing God as well. Does it make sense? Praying means thanking them. No, no. You, uh, no, no. Praying is one thing. Make you alive every single day. Yeah, but. Like we thanking God. What you for believe. Food also. Yeah. Like when we eat, I think you, I mean, Muslim people also take name. You pray. Allah, Allah, Allah yeah. Right? Thanks for giving us food. Yeah. So we do as well. It's, I believe, I don't know, I should say this or not, but. Your Allah's. Your God's name is Allah. Our God's name is something different. But all I'm saying, it's it's same. No, no. For you, you believe that because your Allah says or your messenger says or whoever says that only the greater one is Allah. For us, it's God, Mahadev. For somebody else, it's... But Jesus. Mahadev is not goddess. Mahadev is a god. Yeah, but you said you believe in goddess. Yeah. So you should say Mahadev. The main source, the head, is Mahadev. Okay. Whatever uh, gods we have, that is so, after him. So you worship the female god who is less powerful than... God is always powerful. There is no less How powerful. many gods Mahadev you believe is most powerful? His wife is less powerful. No, no, say no, it. Say, no, no, I His wife is less powerful. I no, I didn't say that. I didn't so his that. his wife is on the same level as him. Yes. yes. Only the thing. Is, Are you sure? Yes. Yes. I'm, How? I'm hundred percent sure. One, well, you're not you're not making sense. You're contradicting yourself no, now. No, no, no. I need to have I'm chocolate happy. to get over this. Please, please have it. <laughs> so the point I'm trying to make is, you know what you believe. Mm -hmm. Your parent taught you this. Yeah. How do you know it's true? Do you have a scripture? Do you have something? What's your evidence for it? Apart from your parents taught you. It says there that um, whoever gods we are having, the all 33 Koti Karots Devta, I mean God and Goddess, including everyone, uh, they have different names. They came on earth to teach us something, to say something, to give message something. You say them messenger, we say them God. That's it. That's why we have this multiple gods and goddesses. Okay, so now, um, this, <coughs> okay, 
be more specific. So your belief, where does it come from? Mahadev. How do you know it's from Mahadev? Like you, like you said, we believe in prophets and messengers. We believe in scripture. We believe in the Quran. Yeah. What do you like? How did the message? How did Mahad? How did your ultimate God communicate to you? I didn't want it. Thank you. No problem, sir. I didn't get what you're asking. Hmm? I didn't get what you're asking. Your belief. How did that get communicated to you? Now, Muslims, we believe in prophets and messengers. Yeah? God chose men amongst men to articulate, to speak the message. And whoever, um, once they die, the message lives on through a book, which is the, like, the scripture. When the scripture gets changed, God will send another prophet. Once the message changes again, um, God will send another prophet. And then this continued up until the prophet Muhammad. Because Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger, there's no more prophets to come. Allah preserved the final scripture, which is the Quran. So now we know the Quran has never been changed, it's been preserved. So that's how the message came to Muslims. How did your message come to you? Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> yeah. So what does Bhagavad Gita say about um, worship, how many gods there are and the definition of God? Habibi, can I give this to you? I might keep one though. Two, three, four. <laughs> uh -huh. that, is why, that is why I know this. I so your 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 Bhagavad Gita, do you believe is is perfect and has never been changed? No. It's so, the same as you are saying. So you believe that all messenger came and after that last messenger came, it keeps it keeps remain right. It's the same as he left it. Mm. So same like us. When God Krishna came on earth for Maha, Mahabharata, I don't yeah. know much, but I'm telling you whatever I know. Yes, please. When Lord Krishna came on earth at the time of Mahabharata, He said uh, these things, all your life messages. That, that is all things are there in Bhagavad Gita. Like about this God, how many gods? It says there 33 Kodi Karots we are having. How do you know he said it? How do you know that that message is the message he wanted? Because there was a person. Maybe maybe he wanted to say one no, no, and no. then someone kept adding zeros it's, it's not over time, zero, zero, zero. You can't question God's things, right? No, no, no. I'm questioning how he the information saying, got to you. Yes. So You're saying don't question the message of God. I'm saying, said, how do I know that's the message because, of God? Uh, I'm not questioning I the message. Think, yeah, yeah. Not, not I don't want to... No, no, you're right, you're right. It's like, um, sorry, I forgot. Last messengers, or messenger you came, that was... The Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet, sorry. The Prophet, Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad yeah. um, I think he was illiterate. He can't... He was unlettered. He couldn't read or write, yes. Yes, that's what, yeah. But what he did, whatever Allah wants him to do it. Right? Yes. For certain purpose, for one purpose, he sent that messenger and he was doing his things. Same like that, God was not writing it, but the other person, I forgot the name, I don't know who wrote Bhagavad Gita, but he wrote in behalf of our Lord Krishna and whatever he was between the conversation of that person and the Lord Krishna, he was writing. And it is there in Bhagavad Gita, whoever Lord says. It's not written by any human like normal like us, no. It's not like that. So and now, they wrote it. Go on, I'll let you finish. Are you finished? Yeah. No, no, it's fine. Yeah. So this individual wrote it. Yeah. Now, whenever <coughs> we make the claim that, look, this is the message of the messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah. We have a Uru tradition. We have 200 million people who have memorized the Qur'an word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot in the languages revealed in yeah? so it's not like, oh, here's a book it's we have all these <laughs> I really shouldn't have had the chocolate all I can feel is the nuts in my mouth <laughs> it's my, my apologies, that's why I'm getting a little bit distracted 
Um, we have over 200 million people memorize the word for word level L. So we have all these different individuals who are quoting the same message. Does that make sense? So it's not like one person said it. Because everyone says to me, oh, what about Chinese whispers? Yeah. But then it's like, it's not coming from one person. It's all these different people saying the exact same message. And it's getting transported all around the world. And they became like colleges, universities and institutes by themselves. So he went there, he memorized the Quran. He might have went to this part of the world. He settled there, he taught people around him and then he, he spread that knowledge of the Quran. Someone else went to Turkey, someone else went to um, Spain and so on and so forth. So then when you trace it back, even in this country, in a Birmingham Museum, Birmingham, Birmingham University, we have a carbon dated Quran in the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad. This isn't Muslim saying, oh, it's been preserved. It's non-Muslim academics saying that this is the same um, scripture that was written in his lifetime. Does it make sense? So my point is, that's what I'm trying to understand why you believe what you believe. Does it make sense? Because you're a small woman. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, I believe this because my parents told me. You believe this, it came through your parents, but there's something that makes you believe it. Now, you might not have the same criteria as I do. Yeah. Nor do you need the same criteria as me. Yeah. Your criteria might be whatever it is or it feels right. Yeah. But I'm just trying to understand what is your criteria because you're referencing a scripture which is Bhagavad Gita, then it's like, how old is Bhagavad Gita? Um, is there any mistakes in the Bhagavad Gita? Because you know the Quran. Um, this is Allah says in the Quran. This is from Allah and Allah will preserve it. So I hope I've proved to you preservation. Yeah. Um, it's the only book that says it's from Allah. Now, later on Allah gives evidence for it saying that, look, if this was from anyone apart from Allah, you would find mistakes in it. You would find crookedness in it. You would find errors in it. Yeah? This is the only religious scripture that claims it's from the Creator, claims He will preserve it, claims that there's no mistakes in it. And I'm saying to you, have a read for it. See that there's no contradiction. When it talks about history, it gets it right. It makes prophecies. Prophecies have come true. Yeah. It talks about science, gets it right. It talks about um, the linguistic miracles. For example, the Quran was revealed over 23 years. Yeah. So like you said, it wasn't written down. It was from Allah to the angel Gabriel to the Prophet Muhammad who spoke it. He spoke it <coughs> for 23 years. Yeah. Now you see that um, the number of times angels are mentioned, same number of times devils are mentioned. The word day is mentioned 365 times. The word week is mentioned seven times. The word month is mentioned 12 times. Does that make sense? This is just to name a few. Yeah. There's other elements of it where if you had the understanding of the Arabic language. If I had a good understanding of the Arabic language, I could explain it to you, yeah? But it's just so much things that it's like, no, this can't be from anyone apart from the Creator. And this is one of my evidences as well. Does that make sense? Because the thing is, my parents are Muslim, yeah? But for me to say I'm a Muslim just because my parents are Muslim is not good enough. And I was born in this country, yeah? Um, was you born in this country? No, you mentioned you came back. You came from India, India from your running away from your in-laws. You mentioned. I'm no. oh, joking. I'm joking. <laughs> um, you can say also they won't believe it's right. <laughs> that's right. We know what the truth is. They don't need to believe me. Um, being born and brought up in this country, my belief was questioned. You don't need to defend your belief. No one, no one challenged you. Me, I'm a minority. 
example, I was born in this country. My belief was questioned on a day-to-day -day basis. Why do you believe this? This doesn't make sense. Why this? Why that? This, that, never. Yeah. And I've been saying, when I was younger, I didn't have the right answers. I would ask my parents, my parents are, you have to believe. Doesn't make sense. Don't question, put third. You're gonna, this is very bad. Yeah. So then I just thought, Islam doesn't have the answers. Alhamdulillah, Islam has the answers. My parents don't have the answers. So when I looked into it further, that's why I'm here in the cold, wearing one glove, yeah, in the cold, because Islam is the truth, it has the answers, and I've put myself in a position that, look, challenge me, ask questions. Yeah? So then that's how I'm trying to understand, that look, you believe in the Bhagavad Gita. A few moments ago, you said that you don't believe that the Bhagavad Gita has been, is preserved. It hasn't been changed. You believe it hasn't been changed? Okay, so and you believe it's perfect? You believe there's no mistakes in it? I didn't say that it's changed. Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. Maybe, maybe I misheard you. No, no, I didn't yeah? say it. Okay. Have you heard of Dr. Zakir Naik? Dr. Zakir Naik. Yes, I have seen his videos. What did you think? After some time, I stopped watching it. Cute, cute, cute. What happened? What happened? Tell me, tell me. Some of the things I didn't like it, of course. Like what? Like what? Um, he's giving giving references from the Bhagavad Gita as well, which I also didn't know. I agree. But sometimes when he gives examples, um, I didn't like it, so I stopped watching. I but did like he lie though? No, no, no. no. He there you go. So I you need to you need to, you need to look into it and realize that he's an academic. He knows what he's talking about. So me myself, uh, go on, go on. Yeah, go on. No, no, I'll let you finish. No, no, no. I talk too much. Uh, since I'm I'm 28 eight years old, right? Since my childhood, when I get you know get things understand, I get I got that understanding. Since that time, I have believed something, and still I'm believing in when was giving some lectures or when he was giving some references when he was doing some comparisons oh, I oh. was not uh, I was not I was unable to accept those things not accepting but I was having that you, question you don't want to hear it yeah I didn't I was not liking it to you know see or like as you said I was not liking it to hear it because I am believing in something but I'm not the one who can tell him or somebody else because I don't feel, I said, I am believing in something. I don't need to, as you said, you don't need to explain somebody why you are believing or something like that. I, I didn't say that actually. I think, I think we should be able to. Because you know, it occurred to me like, you know, you've gone to university, right? I went to university. You know, when they get you to write assignments, yeah? When you know the topic well, you can write it, you can do it. Yeah. You're like 3,000 words. 5,000 words, 7,000 is that it, it's fine, 10,000 is not a problem. But when you haven't read the topic, when you don't know it very well, you don't want to read the books, 2,000 words seems like a lot. How am I going to write 2,000 words? I don't know it. So when you know your religion at the moment, when you know what you believe, why you believe, it's simple to defend it. Does it make sense? There's a difference between having to defend it needing to defend it and being able to defend it. I think we should all be able to defend it. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Don't feel obliged, you have to defend what you no, believe. I'm not forcing you, no, no, no pressure. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the point I'm trying to make. So, I'm saying that, look, when you believe in the goddess, yeah, because everyone's going to say, look, why are you not talking about goddess? Yeah, because in Islam, we have a very simple concept, yeah, which I kind of diverge from, and it's very important to talk about, which is called Tawheed. Yeah, it goes through the names and attributes of Allah, yeah, and it's about how we understand Allah, yeah, and the fundamental, very simply put, yeah. We don't compare the Creator with the creation. Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if I was to say to you, for you to close your eyes and to imagine the Creator, 
Whatever you imagine is not the creator. Does it make sense? It's beyond your imagination. If I close my eyes and start imagining the creator, I'll be thinking of the creation, mixing it up, trying to make it different and be like, oh, this is my creator. No, it's not. This is just your imagination of the creation. Even when I was speaking, I was referring to Allah as He. He is uniquely one. He is self-sustaining eternal. He does not beget. He is... Um, um, there's nothing equal or comparable to Him. I keep using Him, He. Allah is free from gender. Allah, we don't describe Allah with He. Yeah. It's because the English language is limited, I have to use the word He. If I was speaking to you in Arabic, there would be no He. If I spoke to you in Arabic, there would be no gender when I talk about Allah. Because you know, it's a very interesting point. Um, in Arabic, everything has a gender. When you're talking about different items, they have genders, similar to like French. Yeah. Um, now, when you talk about Allah, Allah is free from gender. Yeah. When you talk about Allah, there's no way for you to put a plural. There's no, there's, you can't say there's multiple Allahs. Do you know what I mean? So these are things, there's a deficiency in the language I'm speaking, hence I'm using things. But that's why I would say, you know, you're talking about the creator of the heavens and the earth, and you're saying he got married, he has a wife. Why would the creator have a wife? Tell me, please. There is no wife. Just remember, yeah? Yes, yes I will I'm, I'm a young person, I can't... <laughs> do you know what I mean? My parents, no. they'll, be, they'll tell me off. Keep it, keep it PG rating, please. <laughs> Under 18 answer, please. <laughs> yeah? There is no question why. Because, um, as in your Islam, Ji. everything is... Um, is there how to live your everyday life? Yes. You have everyday abuse, life. Right? Yeah, yeah. How no, you on a day to day basis. Day -to -day basis. What as is well it? as how to run a state, how to run an army, how to cut my nails, how to treat my wife, the, my children. Yeah, everything. everything Bismillah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, day to day and lifetime. Yeah, go on. Everything. Yes. G. So, you have Quran to say those all things. G. And God and Goddess, they. Um, to teach us, to let us know they did this. And it's not like whatever God and Goddess names are there, they are the main source. Like, I Does your God need to eat? Sorry? Does your God need to eat? Hmm? Yes, we do. When we do pray, Does your God need to eat? It's not needs to eat. They are not human souls. No, no, but you're saying gods came to show us example. So, I'm a man, before I have a man God. You're a woman, woman, you need a woman God no, no, no. to be an example. No, 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 it's not like that. Men need man God, it's not like that. I don't know, I'm trying before, to understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Before humans came on earth, God came here. Okay. They did everything. Done what? Like eating? Not eating. No, because food is important to me. Okay. I'm hungry. Yeah? When, when first um, Adam, Adam yeah. came on earth first, yeah? yeah? What yeah. he ate? That time we were not having pizza, paratha, yeah. curry, nothing we were yeah. having, but he was surviving, right? Yeah. How he gets in his mind that he can eat this? It was nature. Okay, I don't, I'll let you finish your I'm, point. I'm just, I'm just trying mm. to explain that thing that when God, I. By the way, we, we have a belief that Allah taught him the names of things and taught him. Exactly. Yeah. So you believe your Allah taught Adam, right? Yeah. So that is how our God and Goddess taught us how to... So when God was on earth, family, yes. when God was on earth, were the other people, human beings, no on earth? human beings. Okay. That time. So they lived Not their life single and their place. actions they did was written down. Okay. And we do have some Can I ask you a question? in uh, Bhagavad Gita also that uh, internally what God and Goddess communicate 
Did your god and goddess have a husband and wife argument? No. Then how are they going to give... living life like us, no. Then how can they be example? What example? You said they came on earth to show they live, so then we know how to live. So they gave us practical example. Nobody will teach you how to fight, right? But you know how to fight. No, 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 no. The, the, the real... same thing is that does Quran is having how to fight or how to argue? The Quran and Sunnah is the life of the Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad had wives. They had arguments. He teaches us not how to fight. That was my question. I asked you, but there was a context to it, which is how do you resolve the arguments? Because it's natural. The Prophet Muhammad taught us it's natural for men and women, husband and wife, to argue. Yeah? But don't go to sleep angry. Does it make sense? Don't go more than three days without talking to one another. Does it make sense? So, I don't know, yo, married woman, right? Me being married man, we need to learn how to communicate to our spouses. And who am I going to follow? Something man-made, my desires, my intellect, or guidance from the Creator. So you're saying your God came, they got married. You're telling me they didn't eat food. They didn't. I don't know. I was see. You know what things written in Quran. Yeah. Okay, but I don't know what exactly things written in Bhagavad Gita because we are not keep on no, no, practicing I don't, those I don't, I don't, I don't so expect I don't you to be a scholar. Yes. Roughly speaking, the point. Don't, don't get distracted by my question, think of the point. The point I'm trying to make is... But, sorry to interrupt, no, no. but I have heard that whatever questions, whatever problems you are having in your life, if you read through Bhagavad Gita, definitely by 100% you will get that answer in that Bhagavad Gita. Because Did you get the answers? The Did you get the answers? Yes. What answer and did you get? Said, Tell me the I answer. I can't say that. Tell me the answer. I can't say that. Why are you, why are you being selfish for? Everybody should we're, be we're, selfish. We'll, <laughs> is this what yes. Hinduism teaches? No, no, no. It's not about Hinduism. I'm joking. Go, go. All this humanity, of course. But selfish humans. Yes. In, nowadays, yes. Okay. Okay, okay. I should, I should if you have Quran in Hindi, then I can take it. I don't know. Why are you being difficult for? I have it in English, I have it in French, I have it in Spanish. I'll tell you why. But you want it in Hindu. No, I mean no, no. Hindi. Okay, Hindi. Sorry. Don't I'll be sorry. No, no, I'll tell you no why. don't tell me why. <laughs> Just take the English, please. The thing is, I'm not that much good in. Your English is very good. Don't no, act with me. No, no, no. Seriously, I'm saying. I'm being serious as well. No, yes, 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 yes. I, this much I can speak because uh, before coming to UK, I was in Dubai. Three, four, four years, I guess. And they never gave you Quran? Shame oh, on them. them. Really, <laughs> why? Say, but no. Busy or just no, not I friendly? Not, not that friendly. If they will see somebody from outside and they will talk, they will just, we just need to give them the way to go, that's it. I believe. I feel so that's all. Okay. Nobody talks there about this part of. They country. should. This is Muslim country. They should. This is I the have main problem. Uh, like you, so many people. Whenever I go going from here, they everyone talks different different. Yeah. But sorry, what was the point you were making? Yes. About English translation. Better understanding. I need that one. The Hindi version. But it's fine, I'll take it. But you can find it online. No, I tried uh, before, but I'm getting in some, like one hour, two hours. Not the whole things, just short, short things. Can you Google Quran in um, Hindi or go to dawa.on point? <laughs> that website should have a Hindi version. Let me quickly check actually. What did you say? Dawa, D A W A H dot. Sorry, Dawa on point. Sorry, it's not dot. I'm thinking of my Instagram. Dawa? Yeah. 
सर दावा ये H H on point yeah. so my internet slowed down let me check if they have it in Hindi so we've got all these different languages and Hindi this is outrageous why do we not have it in Hindi what other languages can you read Gujarati but it's very difficult than <laughs> Hindi how is it Can you just check if it's on here, Hindi, here? Sorry, madam. You can go for it quickly because you can see the text. There's other languages, maybe you can find it beneficial. Why you have everything not in Hindi? I know, that's my point. I think I need to learn different languages. <laughs> Any of these languages you can read. And we'll get it for you. No. It's fine. I'm very sorry. I'm going to try to organize that for you. This is for you. Why did you take your shoes off? It's holy book, right? Yes. Wow. It's not, it's not necessary because in Islam... For you it's not necessary, but for us it is. Even uh, if you see Bhagavad Gita, if you are having at home, you can't keep it open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to cover it with some cloth or Yeah, to avoid it from dust. SubhanAllah, may Allah grant you benefit for showing that respect to the Quran. Can I give you this as well? What is this? It's just brief. brief information about Islam. Yeah? Okay, um, do you have any questions for me before I let you go? First I'll read it. If I'll find it somewhere, then I'll ask you. You can find me here every you Saturdays. Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Do you speak Bangali? Yes. Speak. Tora Tora, no, I don't, I don't, I forgot in Hindi, I used to know Hindi. Oh. <laughs> I speak better Bengali than you, mate. I just heard that's right. I speak... No, no, I'm from India only, but very few, I can understand everything, but I can't speak. You just spoke Bengali, I mean... That is what I'm saying. Very few words I know. Bangali. Which part from India? Gujarat. 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 Kemcho, Kemcho. How do you say it in a polite way? Kemcho, yeah. sorry, Kemcho, Kemcho. I need to be polite. It's alright. It's the same. So it's Dawa. Um, dot. Now it's dot on point. On. And that's how I'll come up. Thank you so much, madam. Give me some feedback on my videos as well, yeah? And you know, this channel, this isn't mine, but the brother who's doing it, you can see this video online if you like. And it's... It's the same page? No, Dawa, the number two soul YouTube channel. And I think he's got Facebook as well and so on and so forth. Okay. Go on his Facebook, yeah? Thank you so much, madam. Really appreciate your time. What you say? Halafis? Halafis, GGG. Take care. Thank you. SubhanAllah, um, yes, yeah, SubhanAllah, she done her practice of taking off her shoes to take a holy scripture 
and my heart melted because I just thought to myself that small action could be sufficient for Allah to forgive her for sins and grant her Islam. So, and it reminds me of the magicians of the time of Musa alayhi salam. But alhamdulillah, it was a conversation. I tried to keep it civil and polite and I couldn't make all the points I wanted to make. But alhamdulillah, she listened, she took the Quran. May Allah bless her with Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa My mistake, I throwed it, sorry. No problem. I think it's fine. Take all of this. No, 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 one, one. Thank you, thank you. I got one. For your husband. Thank you. No, 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 he don't eat chocolate. Are you sure? Thank you. No problem. No. All right. So, yeah, alhamdulillah. Um, I really wanted to, alhamdulillah, I really wanted to actually talk a little bit more in regards to how her concept of God is and if she believes in a male god and a female god they got married what's the purpose does that make sense because we as human beings we know why we get married to fulfill our desires to reproduce as the sunnah of the prophet they got married but then she couldn't really clarify um the purpose and then she said oh as an example but then what example did they set because how can the gods be examples to men and a better example would be the Islamic narrative which is prophets, men chosen by God to actually be as perfect examples but yeah, alhamdulillah she listened very politely and she was friendly chocolate, chocolate. so alhamdulillah chocolate. we need to invest more money and more time in getting a translation of the Quran in Hindi because we let her down but alhamdulillah make dua for her and let's, let me continue the dawah and let's see if we can propagate Islam to more people, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa